Good morning. Welcome to Old St. Mary's Church as we gather to celebrate the Eucharist on this, the first Sunday of Lent. Please take a moment to silence all electronic devices. All of the readings for this Mass can be found on page 1117 in your hymnal. And the music and readings can be found in this week's worship aid. Feel free to follow along on your phone or device if you'd like, on the OSM Parish app, or click the Sunday Worship Aid link on the front page of our parish website, oldsaintmarys.com. Please stand and join in singing our gathering song, number 583, Hold Us in Your Mercy, number 583. Hold us in your mercy, 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 hold us in your mercy. Hold us in your mercy. Hold us in your mercy. Makers love poured out from heaven. Hold us in your mercy. Mercy's word made flesh among us. Hold us in your mercy. Hold us one of homeless pilgrims. Hold us in your mercy, sent to bring the poor good news. Hold us in your mercy, you who share the sinner's table. Hold us in your mercy, you who cleanse the leper's flesh. Hold us in Hold us in your mercy. 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 In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And also with you. Good morning and welcome to Old St. Mary's and welcome to the first Sunday of Lent. As we begin this, continue this sacred season, season of a time of preparation as we accompany the uh, catechumens and the candidates in their preparation it is also a time for renewal of our baptism during this sacred season my friends together with christians everywhere let us resolve to dwell in the desert of lent fasting from distraction, sharing with the poor, and supporting each other with our prayers. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
of mercy. Let us pray. Grant, almighty God, that through the yearly observances of Holy Land, we may grow an understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you. All the birds and the various tame and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, This is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living thing beings, so that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. The word of the Lord. to 
sinners. He guides the humble in right judgment. To the humble he teaches his way. Your ways, O oh Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. In it, he also went to preach to the spirits in prison, who had once been disobedient, while God patiently waited in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism, which saves you now, it is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers subject to him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I went with some of friends from college days to see the girl from up north. It's at the CIBC. It's part of the Traveling Broadway Productions. Chris Jones from the Chicago Tribune gave it four stars out of four stars. He said, it's like the Iceman Cometh by Eugene O'Neill with a touch of our town by Thornton Wilder. And it portrays the life in a small town centered on a small hotel run like a boarding house with meals. 
and the songs are all from Bob Dylan. If you're in the right generation to appreciate it, the Bob Dylan songs were great. They provided the soundtrack, though the musical arrangements were made differently to fit the action of the play. It's kind of dark, this play, maybe not suited to Valentine's Day, the people live in community, but the wild beasts of alcoholism, jealousy, and chaos are at work there as well. But it is a satisfying ending with hope and new life. Maybe in our hearts as well, we find the wild beasts when we enter there. And Lent is the time when the Lord accompanies us out into the desert with the wild beasts. Two images emerge for us from the scriptures today. Flood and desert. Each seems bent on human destruction, but also each teems with life. The ark emerges from the flood. God says, behold, I am putting my ark in the sky, the rainbow as a sign of the covenant. I will never destroy every living thing on earth again by flood. And each of the Sundays of Lent will talk about a different aspect of the covenant that the Lord has made with us. Jesus emerges from the waters of the Jordan and hears, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. The, the Spirit drives him out into the desert where he will be tested as to what kind of Messiah he will be. He will be tested to the limits of human endurance. Humanity has been tested to the limits of human endurance recently by pandemic and war, violence, by addiction, by, in this country alone, 80,000 people dying each year from drug addiction, many from prescription pain medications, tearing up the fabric of our society. We tend to think of Lent as a time of penance, but really it's a renewal time of the covenant, a rite of spring, a new beginning. We're on Lent Cycle B, Covenant Renewal Sunday, and candidates and catechumens at the 11 o'clock Mass will be uh, going through the rite of sending, and then this afternoon with the, with the Archdiocese, the rite of election. It's a time for us also to discover who we really are as we go into our hearts, the hidden places where God dwells. God gives the covenant, renews the covenant, and Noah and his family, for their part, agree to repopulate the earth. At every Mass, we celebrate the covenant renewal here at the altar, where Jesus pours out his blood in the sign of the new covenant. And we can listen for those words in the Mass. My blood of the covenant, he says. In Jesus, we have a visible person who inaugurates the new covenant with us. Every Lent, which was thought to be a penitential season, is now understood as a covenant renewal season, a time the candidates and catechumens prepare for baptism and other initiation sacraments, and that we undergo a renewal of our own baptismal promises. For us, the Lenten practices, uh, traditional practices, are appropriate as a time of baptismal renewal. Every Sunday, then, I encourage you, listen for the theme of covenant in the readings.
I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come before God mindful of those who are in need. Let us lift our hearts in prayer, pleading for mercy, justice, and peace. For the church, may these 40 days strengthen in us what is weak and renew what is strong. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May all who are in positions of authority or power foster goodness, repent from evil, and act with justice. Where there is conflict and war, may they work tirelessly for peace and reconciliation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Have mercy on refugees who have been forced from their homes to seek new lands. Relieve the afflicted and the sorrowful who feel that they have no place in the world, and give them hope, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the safety of all those affected by severe weather, travelers, those without adequate housing, and the elderly, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For our parish community, may our prayer, fasting, and almsgiving be a strong witness to those around us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. That all those who have died, especially Jacinta Solis, may be surrounded by the saints in the heavenly kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions we hold in prayerful silence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. O God of faithfulness, hear the prayers of your people. Come to the aid of those who search for healing and wholeness and bring us all one day into your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As always, we thank you for the support of the ministries of Old St. Mary's. You who are joining us from home may mail your contributions to the parish office or donate online by clicking the Give button in the parish website, oldstmarys.com. Our presentation of Gifts Hymn is number 563, Return to God, number 563. <laughs> Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek 
the tent of faithfulness of God. Now the time of grace has come, the day of salvation. Come and learn now the way of our God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tent of faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. I will take your heart of stone and place a heart within you, a heart of compassion. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through your beloved Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through your beloved Son. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts 
to prepare us for reconciliation. Even more, your spirit moves among human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. Therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word you bring salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. Now celebrating the resurrection that Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these sacraments. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on the same evening, he took the chalice of blessing into his hands, Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the covenant, the blood of the new covenant, and eternal, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit that takes away everything that estranges us from one another. 
May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. May he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that in your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. On you stay, sweet Holy Specata Mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, sweet Holy Specata Mundi, miserere Behold, the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to this supper. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 1050, Broken for the Broken. Number ten five zero.
children, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken, shed for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the hungry ones, for the thirsty ones, for the lonely ones you call us to serve, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken. Share for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the ones abused, for the ones confused, for the ones refused to call us to love, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken, shared for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the voiceless ones, for the helpless ones, for the homeless ones you call us to speak, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken, shed for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and sign. For the wounded ones, for the shattered ones, for the tired ones you call us to help, to be Christ for each other, broken for the world. Broken for the broken, poured out for the poor. Blessed feast of God's creation given for us all. Broken for the broken, shed for humankind, we proclaim your death, O Lord, God's sacrifice and
renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity is strengthened. We pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a couple of announcements here. Thank you for joining us in prayer and worship today, both here and in person and at a distance. And let's keep each other in prayer during this Lenten season. Thank you to all who made a commitment to this year's Archdiocesan Annual Appeal. If you haven't yet had the opportunity to make a pledge, a pledge that may be fulfilled in installments if you prefer, take a white pledge envelope home today and give it prayerful thought this week. There are pledge envelopes on the table in the commons as well. Stations of the Cross will be prayed each of the Fridays of Lent at 6 p.m. Details about the stations as well as a number of Lenten resources and enrichment activities can be found in the weekly bulletin at oldstmarys.com and the Old St. Mary's Parish app. Chicago Shares vouchers will be available for purchase after Mass today. These vouchers can be given to anyone you meet who asks for your assistance and used to purchase food at several South Loop grocery stores and restaurants. Shares vouchers will be available each month on the third Sunday of the month, each month on the third Sunday of the month, and stop by the table in the Commons to purchase one or to learn more. Also, there will be a presentation. I will be giving a presentation today after Mass. The theme is Forgiven and Forgiving. It's two weeks in a row, so this week will be Forgiven. It will be at 9.30. Next week will be on Forgiving, that ever-challenging thing we need to do in our lives. And uh, that will be at 9.30 today and also at 9.30 tomorrow. Chicago, uh, we did that. So Old St. Mary's is again participating in the Catholic Relief Services Rice Bowl, Catholic Relief Services Lenten program. After Mass, you're invited to take a rice bowl and use it. Uh, there are easy information resources to deepen your Lenten experience. Your prayers, fasting, and almsgiving this Lenten season will help Catholic Relief Services to continue their life-giving assistance in over 120 countries. Please play, plan to return your rice bowl contribution on the Sunday after Easter. Please convert any coinage to cur currency before you do so. You may also donate to CRS by writing a check payable to Old St. Mary's Parish and writing rice bowl in the memo line. Now we'll have a blessing of the rice bowls which we invite you to take with you. So here they are in this basket that Tom is holding. I invite you all to raise your hand in blessing over these rice bowls. Gracious God, as we begin our Lenten journey, fill us with your spirit of renewal, humility, and grace. Help us this Lent to let go of those things that weigh us down. May our prayers and gifts bring you closer to your Son and bring life to our sisters and brothers who struggle with hunger and poverty. Each day may we proclaim the dignity of life, and celebrate the witness of your love. Bless these rice bowls as a concrete symbol of our solidarity with all your children, our brothers and sisters throughout the world. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Tom. And before we do our final blessing, we have a blessing over the people. So please stand. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon us, your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue may be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured through your beloved Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever.
Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our recessional hymn is number 566. Again, we keep this solemn fast. Number 566. Learn peace through. 